So if you've been following me for a little bit, you realize that I am a maker. I make lots of things. They've been in my boxes um, waiting for me to put them online and I haven't done that for a long time. So I decided today's day. I come up to this lovely bag that I made for the channel last year. I did the quilted denim and I made this beautiful little baguette. I put the link in the description. What I decided to do is I'm going to change the, the clasp. Instead of a pearl, I'm going to put like a button or something. Um, although I do like the the pearl. And uh, it's a lovely, lovely little baguette style bag. And uh, I think I'm going to uh, put it online for sale. Looking at all my little um, goodies again. Beautiful stuff. So I have this bag. Hold on. So I used to make a few uh, crossbody bags and uh, this is a cork uh, sustainable uh, strap that I bought from Portugal a while back. I have a few of them. Leather and uh, also upcycled leather at the front and some denim and a stitch. This cute little um, star. And uh, this is a crossbody. Even the, the zipper the bead for the zipper pull, everything is uh, upcycled. Everything is being bought from the thrift store. It's uh, such a nice little crossbody bag. I'll show you some pictures at the end. So uh, this one, I need to fix uh, the little cute little tweed. It has sequins, it has all the colors. And uh, yeah, it's ready to put it's, uh, the strap and um, the little pull as well. I need to find some nice uh, beads to do the pull. Um, it's a uh, stitch, uh, sorry, it's a stuff with uh, fabric to make it nice shape. But um, the inside is the old shirt. It's a man's shirt, like a lilac man's shirt. And uh, some scraps just to make it, um, to give it some shape. But it's also leather at the back and uh, yeah, this is a lovely crossbody. I'm gonna put the strap on this one. These bags I made and I sold quite a few already. Um, I have only two, I think one or two of these ones. I sold quite a few on my shop. Um, this is made out of the softest leather that I got from um, Upcycle from a leather jacket. You can see the stitching here. And um, I've made some cool patchwork. Let me see how can I show you. I made some cool patchwork for, from um, all sorts of fabrics that I had in my stash. So this is going to go into the shop as well. I also have, I think, one or two left of these uh, uh, cute little pouches. I call them uh, knitting or project bags because they are perfect size for a small project to carry on your bag. Um, like fully lined, everything is fully lined. This one has got a cute little gingham inside um, and some uh, scraps from <laughs> the blue hoodie <laughs> that I'm gonna reuse. So it's there to give some shape, but eventually gonna be reused as well. So uh, what else do I show you? Let me show you. Oh, this one. <laughs> this is an oldie. I have no get rid of because this is when I started um, working with leather. And uh, I did a very simple um, leather embroidery. I don't know if you can see, it looks like a shoe. Um, I was playing around with embroidery and uh, at the time I was obsessed with uh, Manolo Blahnik shoes. So I decided to do like embroidery with it. Uh, it's not perfect. I need to do some few things for it. To start with, the, um, clasp is not right in the middle. I don't know what I've done that. I mean the magnetic clasp. So I need to fix that and I need to fix the handle. I don't like it. So I might I might take it off and put um, also a, a long crossbody and also a zipper because I don't quite like this magnetic clasp not being right in the center. This is one of my first ones. I, I have also done this one in the channel. This is when uh, I was a little bit too timid to put myself in the videos and uh, I just, I wanted to show what I made. So I uh, absolutely love this one because I love this Japanese 
themed fabrics. And, um, and then I've done a patchwork with some of the beautiful um, stash that I have. So this is a cool uh, little bag that you can also use as a, yeah, as a project bag or a pouch, you know, pouches are so useful. Now, this is an oldie. This is battery soft leather. And uh, I've made this a long time ago. It has a really cool um, lining. This lining is from uh, a jacket that I upcycle and the lining was just awesome. So I use both the leather of the jacket and the lining for the jacket. And uh, it has some of the scraps from my <laughs> dress that I also made here in, this, in the channel. But yeah. I will be putting them in the shop if uh, you're interested. I just wanted to show you because they are so beautiful. Right. What else? So, oh, yeah, I have I have two more of this one. I haven't finished the, the strap for this one. I, I stitched the strap with a, um, a trimming. I need to give it good steam and uh, finish this bag. Uh, it's being at the bottom of the um, bag, so it's a little bit, <laughs> it's very lightweight, uh, which is fantastic for the crossbody, really, because it's strong enough to carry anything, but it's not heavy. And uh, it has some really cool um, Japanese design as well. Uh, but look at the inside. The inside is awesome with this beautiful African wax that I bought in a trip that we did to Belgium. Apparently, the brand that we got it from is based in, in Belgium. So, yeah, I bought this beautiful fabric from there. And uh, I thought, why not doing a Japanese thing and an African thing? Why not? And then at the back, it has this uh, gorgeous, uh, uh, buttery soft. I don't even know what color it is. Um, plum. Brown plum leather that was a long pause <laughs> beautiful bag cool uh, zipper as well i'm gonna find a nice um, beads to put it for the zipper pull so this goes with that other one those two have sold very well those types have sold very well people really like that shape this is cute this is really cute another crossbody another i need to again put the handle on it I just put a simple leather pull and uh, it has an awesome um, picture from the Dutch masters, I think was this fabric, this, yeah, the canvas fabric. And again, that's battery soft leather jacket. Another crossbody that is unbelievable how much you could put inside these bags. Your phone, your keys, your all the bit and business for the day to day, fantastic crossbody. So I have that one, and uh, what else do I have here? Oh, look at this, look at this, hold on. This is uh, a piece of uh, silver uh, metallic leather that I found in the market in London. So this is the best part of, I've been here five or six years now. So you can, and, and I had it for a few years before that, so. And then another piece of um, leather jacket, you can see this one, has a little bit more body to it and uh, inside I've done some kind of cotton that imitates lace really beautiful clutch bag uh, pouch um, I'm gonna put a, a zipper pool as well and uh, yeah I'm gonna take some nice pictures and put it on them online what else do I have here oh yes I could be here for a couple of hours by the way I have so much this is why I need to start putting them online <laughs> This is the, the graphic that I got from uh, my uh, blue sweatshirt upcycle video that I'm keeping because I have plans for it. Um, I'm gonna make something nice. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the shape of the uh, little pouches and the color. The leather is so buttery soft, it's gorgeous. Again, I'm gonna put a cute little um, zipper pull and this is a cute little pouch, it's an olive color. Then I have um, like a brown uh, upcycle leather, but one, you can see the stitching in here. And uh, this one's end lined. 
these ones are just the leather inside. So um, I have these two and I have this cute little hot pink. Again, just um, the leather. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. This is the last one I'm going to show you because, as I say, I could be here for a long time. I still have two more boxes to take it out and take pictures and do it. So this one is a beautiful pink leather, uh, Italian leather, uh, a remnant of the bag, uh, the leather that I used to buy. And uh, I've found a cool little blue uh, zipper, metallic zipper in this case. And it has a cool little cotton, um, kind of Japanese, Chinese inspired fabric uh, with the flowers, I think Japanese. Um, yeah, it's very nice. So I'm gonna be taking pictures of it all and put it online if it's anything oh hold on let me show you this is uh one i think this is the last one i bought this jacket because uh in a thrift store because i love this embroidery that and the the rhinestones that the jacket had and i made a few uh pouches with it this one also has that green inside the green lining fabric and also leather uh, made out of a leather jacket uh, with a leather pink super pole. Um These are cool, the flat, the flat pouches. Yeah, I think they look really good and they're, they're super versatile. These are fantastic to put inside your bag. So anything that you need to change from one bag to another, you put them all in here, stuff it in your new bag and you are ready to go. Fantastic. I also have a whole bunch of, uh, this is an experiment. I also have a whole bunch of uh, um, appliques and uh, this is on metallic silver leather, another jacket that I rescue and uh, this cute little bead that I really like. So I have all these patches, uh, patches. I've got some of them are sequins, some of them are um, just fabric like this and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some cool um, uh, crossbody uh, bags and uh, I'm gonna put them online because I really like them they uh, of this one I sold I, I used to sell in here in a couple of boutiques in Amsterdam and in Leiden and um, these ones with the sequins um, sold very well I have one they say bang <laughs> with the sequins and the, that and, and black that sold very well but I might have some more I need to go through my stash to see what I've got left and what I can make. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you because uh, these are just a few of the stuff that I need to update my shop with. Um, it's just, you know, much boring than just creating. So I keep on creating because that's the fun bit. And uh, I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.